You know, like a lot of other West Virginians, Sharon and I started in a trailer, a uh, place called Independence Hill, and then we moved to Healthy Heights. And uh, we grew a business called North American Drillers, started back in 1984. And we're very successful, by the grace of God, but really by a lot of hard work and doing the right thing, we're able to be successful. And there's this aura out there that there's something wrong with that. Well, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. That's what America's all about. And if, this, if there's something wrong with being successful by hard work, we're not America anymore. And believe me, West Virginians don't feel like that. I know that for a fact. We just went through this. Our message resonated. You gotta get government out of the way, bureaucracy out of the way, make the taxes fair for everybody, clean up our courts, and let our kids stay here and have opportunities. And we're gonna beat the same drone this time. We're gonna get everywhere in the state. People are gonna hear that message, and we're gonna, it's gonna be a great year here in West Virginia because we got a lot of people invigorated by what we did last year. A lot of people step up to run. A lot of them you've seen already. You'll see a few more in the next few days. And uh, we're gonna have a great team to uh, look at as an alternative to what we've been putting up with for so long. Uh, our state is bogged down. We're number 49 and we're 50. And we keep losing our kids and our grandchildren. And it's gotta stop. We have so much to offer. Look at the energy resources we have. We're, we're the Texas of the East here in West Virginia. And we need to take advantage of those resources and do it in a responsible manner. And I know we can do it. But thank you all for being here. We're excited to be in a race again and uh, ready to go. But uh, I'll open up any quick questions or. Um, what, or what, what impact what? do you think the presidential race will have on your race? I think uh, we'll really have a spotlight here in West Virginia. We're right now we're the number one race in the country on Politico and some other national political journals. So uh, it's going to be well. The turnout's going to be definitely higher. What did you learn from the last time? Well, it's uh, a lot of work, but it's energizing, and uh, we didn't have enough time. We ran out of time. And this, this year, you know, we've got nine full months. Last year, we ended up with, what, six? So uh, we'll have time to get out and see everybody get throughout the whole state. We missed some pockets of the state last time. You can tell by the vote totals where we need to go. And I spent my whole career working in the coal fields. We're going to spend some time down there this year. Is that what constitutes a different result for you this time around? I think that'll help. And also, people will realize that we can change this place. I mean, look at this guy. He came within 2%. We've got to flip 3,500 people, and we win. I think people realize that we can do it. Last year, there's this aura of invincibility from the other side, and that got, I don't think you see that this year. As you can tell by how many people are here, I walked in here at quarter of five last, last year. Nobody knew who I was. <laughs> this year, you know who I am, but you're all here. <laughs> how do you tell West Virginians that you're a better choice than Governor Tomlin? Well, it, I hear this all the time. You guys are so much alike. You're both business candidates. Well, I believe in less government. If you look at the budget that was just presented, there's more government. You look at our uh, approach to Obamacare, we're getting ready for it. We should be getting rid of it. I mean, those are vast, very big differences, and we're going to push those things. People are going to realize that we need to repeal what we're doing and fight back, and we're going to hope, hopefully we've got a great attorney general that's going to run, and we're going to tag team the Obamacare issue here in West Virginia. We're going to repeal these crazy renewable energy bills we have in place and, you know, open up things. It's all about free enterprise, and uh, West Virginia can be a great place. I understand you had some comments in Morgantown this morning regarding the uh, effort to lure a ethane cracker here to West Virginia. Can you elaborate on that? I think all I said was I, I really hope we can get the cracker. And uh, really, I wish the governor well on his trip today. And I, I don't really, you know, I'm positive. We're going to stay positive on that. We need it. And uh, but on the other side, if you look at some of the tax breaks we gave away here in the last couple of days, we need to level the playing field, give everybody those same breaks, make the pie bigger. It's all about Ronald Reagan's supply side economics. You know, if you give everybody the same breaks, you don't have to pass these special things all the time. Do you, you have more people here, you make the pie bigger. Sorry. Do you foresee a campaign similar to the last one where you try to directly tie the governor to the policies of the president? Well, if was, not you, at least yeah, people are campaigning you know, on your behalf. It's hard to say what will happen. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I know uh, we're going to get out there and push our message harder than we did last time. We learned a lot of things. Governor Tomlin said in his state of state message that he's going to fight the EPA and it's a fight uh -huh. that he's going to win. Uh -huh. How could you win more effectively? Well, I know there's fight. been a couple lawsuits we've joined. We should be waging, we should be the ones initiating the lawsuit. It's not just the EPA, there's things that we don't even know about that are coming down from the OSM and federal, federal government's out of control. I heard Obama the other night talk about, we've had less regulations in my tenures than the previous two administrations. That's because he goes around the administrative rules and just creates them. We've got to fight back. And we're going to be at the forefront of states' rights this time, I'll tell you that. Do you have a preference for in the Republican Party for president? I, I'm staying out of that one. <laughs> 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 i got enough trouble here worrying about what I'm doing. Exactly. I just hope it sorts itself out.